The resumption of U.S. beef imports is an important part of the 100-day economic plan between China and the United States. The Chinese cattle industry is taking the opportunity to expand the U.S. Kurchin from Inner Mongolia is one of the biggest cattle ranchers in China. Company officials recently visited some ranches in Iowa and Texas and said they are ready to expand their business there. The company also wants to create their own production lines in the U.S. We have seen slaughterhouses that are able to process 1,000 cattle a day. That simply cannot meet the demand in China. We may invest in not one, but many of these. One house can process about 60,000 tons of beef a day. We are looking for about 200,000 tons of capacity, so we need more than 10 slaughterhouses. Chinese small business and individual investors also want a share in the U.S. beef imports. Consultants said that Chinese investors are eyeing small and medium-sized ranches and slaughterhouses. Some Chinese companies have already set up beef processing factories and are making products able to meet Chinese tastes. As the Chinese cattle industry increases its investment in the U.S., local governments are welcoming the new money. We want to encourage investment from the Chinese here. I just spent eight days in Shanghai speaking with companies that are looking to invest here, and so we're very open to the idea of having Chinese business people invest in Texas. China's beef imports hit 2.5 billion U.S. dollars last year, with total shipments of nearly 580,000 tons. The U.S. ambassador to China, Terry Branstad, said the U.S. wants to export more high-quality food products to China, and the lifting of the ban on beef is a new beginning for the two countries. Ming Tian, CGTN.